okay let's start with this okay this is the first term this is the second term this is the third term and it goes on and on until it stops here so when it stops that means at a full stop here clearly memberi tahu saya the sequence already stopped okay now i know this is term 1 and i know this is term 2 and i know this is term 3 but the problem i don't know what term is this so if i determine the n that is unknown here saya akan dapat the number of terms yang ditanya oleh soalan a okay so in order for me to do that so i know this is a geometric sequence how i find out the common ratio 10 divided by 5 i get 2 or you can do this also you can take term 2 5 divided by 2 1 over 2 you will still get the same answer this same nilai memberitahu saya clearly this is a geometric sequence so the formula that i need to use is the formula to find term that appears in a geometric sequence so when i substitute according to the formula so i know the term n is this but the problem is i don't know what is the n so in order for me to determine i substitute the a the r equal to 10,240 okay mathematically you cannot multiply you cannot open the bracket as per normal that means anda tak boleh darab kerana there is a power yang wujud di sini so what should I do with this number saya akan pindahkannya ke sebelah kanan so leaving out on my left 2 to the power of this 10 2 4 0 divided by 2 1 over 2 ok you have a calculator so when you divide this with the calculator you're going to get 4 0 9 6 alright this is what you will get first ok after that is a matter of using indices that means I'm going to check ini kuasa berapa dengan menggunakan kaedah trial and error that means I test one by one so when I test one, one by one I dapati 2 power 12 will give me this so what does this actually conclude for me I can write n minus 1 is actually equal to 12 so n would be 13 so pendek kata bilangan sebutan yang wujud is 13 terms where the last term is term 13 first step ok the next thing is they want us to find from the fifth to the last that means hasil tambah sebutan kelima sampai tadi we already found out there are 13 terms so that means sampai sebutan ke 13 berdasarkan jalan kerja tadi we already know there are 13 terms so they say the last term means the last term yang diriferkan is this so I need to know how many terms are there when I use mathematically when I count guna jari pun I dah dapat there are exactly 9 terms ok what is the other option I can have is untuk memudahkan alright what we can do you can take 13 minus 5 plus 1 because you kena masukkan 5 sekali term 5 so that you will get 9 sorry, 9 term this is one of the option anda boleh guna this is one of the option to get how many terms are there but pendek kata saya ada 9 sebutan di mana saya perlu cari hasil tambah I need to find the sum okay. I already know the R here is 2 and the value of R is more than 1 okay, why am I highlighting this keyword R is more than 1 because the formula that is involved here will be the formula yang merupakan formula bila nilai R the value of R is more than 1 so I am going to use the formula so if I go according to the substitution the R is very clearly stated 2 so 2 power 9 minus 1 2 minus 1 
but there is a small change this one as per the formula is a what is a as per the formula well first term that's what the formula says but for this question jelas kelihatan penambahan bermula dari term 5 kita mulakan penambahan dari term 5 so what does this actually tell me my first term untuk this part of the calculation is term 5 kerana penambahan saya bermula dari term 5 saya tak mula soalan yang kata sum bermula dari sebutan kelima so that is the reason I start from term 5 so my job now is to get what is term 5 so I guna formula term in order for me to determine what is term 5 so my A is the same thing 2 1 over 2 R 2 5 minus 1 in order for me to determine what is term 5 so when you press the calculator for this you're going to get 40 so my first term for this question B adalah 40 sebab again saya ulang penambahan bermula from term 5 start from term 5 can you see that so after that is a matter of pressing your calculator so when you press the calculator the screen shows 20 4 4 0 this is how we get the answer for number 6